Dear friends, in this video we are going to take a look at the basic suturing and knotting using a needle holder. Let's first take a look at the suture. So what we have in hand is a 2-0 silk suture with a reverse cut needle. It's in 3 8 of a circle and the length of the suture is 76 cm. Let us now see how the assistant should open the suture. Now the suture is taken out of the packet using sterile hands and the packet is discarded. You have to open the suture along the dotted line and the needle is held with the needle holder. So we, here we see the basic parts of the needle, there's a tip, the body and a tail. Now the thing that we have to remember is that the tip and the junction of the needle to the suture should not be handled directly. So it's best to hold the needle at the junction of anterior two-third and the posterior one-third. Let us now imagine a midline across which we will be suturing. So the needle is introduced perpendicular to the plane and we assume a distance of x from the midline. Now when the end of the needle or the tip of the needle comes out onto the opposite side, it should be at the same distance of x from the midline. Just notice how the wrist is twisting and following the curve of the needle. While pulling out the needle, again the curve of the needle is followed and the tip is not to be handled. Now let's take a look at the V that the two ends are forming. Identifying this V is an important aspect to learn suturing with an instrument. So to tie the first half of the knot, the instrument is intertwined twice with the long end of the suture. Now the short end is held by the instrument and they are pulled in the opposite directions. At this point, it must be remembered that the hands they should not cross each other, they should rather move in parallel planes. Again, you should try to recognize the V and the long and short ends of the suture. Now, from within the V, the instrument is again intertwined with the longer end of the suture. This time only once and then the short end is then pulled out. So here you can see that it's a surgeon knot which is being formed by a double half knot and a single half knot. So we can now pull it out and tighten this knot. So this surgeon's knot can then be further secured by taking two half knots. Again here you have to recognize the V and the long and the short end of the suit. Remember that two single half knots will form a square knot whereas a double half knot in combination with a single half knot will form a surgeon's knot. Thank you very much for watching the video.